Emily Mahana appears to be your typical mid 20 something, even if she doesn't appear to be your typical engineer. Just that stereotypical image of what you think of as an engineer. It does take people aback sometimes when I explain what I do and even the fact that, you know, I work as an engineer. For the past three and a half years, this CNS and SU grad has been living two of her dreams. One is her profession, and the other as a hobby, which she has found a way to combine. Emily has parlayed her love of science and beauty pageants into a platform to get kids interested in STEM. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of STEM Sundays with Emily. I really love working with kids and showing them what STEM can do. And when COVID happened, it's really hard to connect with students when you can't visit them in class. So it took me a while, but I finally figured out the best way to get to students is the best way they're learning now, which is online. There we go. Now Emily understands the uniqueness of loving both STEM and beauty pageants, but says it's just quintessentially her. It was one of those things I did in college where I said, if I don't try this now, I never will. It's just about being yourself. You know, I came into pageants not expecting anything. I just wanted a good experience to meet new people. I had a year off this year, COVID kind of shut, you know, everything down. So having that time away, that's when I realized, you know, I want to do this pageant and this is, you know, for me, this is the biggest pageant that you can compete in. After Miss New York USA in August, Emily says her pageant days might be over. So As for her love of science, thanks to her formative years, she'll continue to break stereotypes. Having that be my fundamental STEM experience really helped me later on when I was trying to decide what I wanted to do when I grew up. Um, but yeah, my dad, he had a big impact on me in, in deciding to go into STEM. An impact that still ripples from Emily to today's youth, one video at a time. All right, well, thanks everyone for tuning in. We've got another Eric Columbia, localsyr.com. So make sure to tune in, and I'll see you next Sunday.